Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this episode of Thor News, Signs in the Heavens. Comet Neo Wise is still putting on a show for anyone lucky enough with a good camera, binoculars. Here we see it against the backdrop of some amazing auroras. But the big story is new cycle sunspot activity. A sunspot is emerging over the sun's northeastern limb. Based on its high altitude, it is likely a member of new solar cycle 25. So this is exciting. And sunspot AR2767, which is the one that is on the sun now, gave us two A-class solar flares. When will we get our first X-Men class solar flare? Who knows? But stay tuned. Right now, solar sunspot AR2767. Six, seven, I don't know, I'm bad with numbers. It has flaring potential. It has given us a couple of little ones, and it looks like it's doing a little bit of flaring now. But if you look at the sunspot that is coming at the top of the sun, that thing looks pretty big and massive. But I am very, very excited because these are signs that the sun is waking up from a deep solar minimum, and hopefully it's going to put on one heck of a solar maximum because empires fall during a solar minimum crappy times happen but then empires rise during a solar maximum and good times return hopefully good enough times that rock and roll gets back to planet earth and humanity begins to heal but look at that thing dude this is going to be a pretty decent sized sunspot i imagine when it comes around and so we will have two sunspots on the sun we haven't had that since december and so that is very, 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 very exciting. Look at that. Ooh, baby. And with the sun waking up, that means I'm feeling better. So we will start to get edited videos again soon in the future. I'll probably do one on asteroids and on the moon Ganymede because they've taken some cool new photos. And we've got some interesting asteroids coming up, including 2020. Oi! Four. Oh, that one just passed passes tomorrow we'll have to watch out for that one but the big one everyone's watching is 2011 esa or es4 that's 0.3 lunar distances and it's a 30 kilometer size chunk of rock and so and then we had this is 1.2 so that's going to be interesting right hey y'all it is noctilucent cloudy that's a lot of meteor smoke man i'm so excited and i just can't hide it I'm about to lose control, and I think I like it. Yeah, and personally for me, that means I'll probably get back into shape, and I'll probably become funnier, and then uh, probably once again be one of the most handsome men on the planet, which can be a burden. But, you know, I've been there before. I can handle it. Just don't let me make bad romantic choices, because that can really screw up your life. Did you hear me, kids? Choose your future mate wisely. It is probably the most important decision you'll ever make in your whole life. Yeah, ooh, we're getting some good filament action out of that. Hey, yo, that seems like quite a bit of fireball action. Sunspots are crazy things, man. Interesting for sure. They're actually cooler than the rest of the sun around. Sure, yeah, it kind of looks like a butthole, but I'm fecophobic, so... I'm not into those jokes. Comet Neowise has definitely been one of the most photogenic comets I've ever seen. With its crazy neon tail. I mean, ion tail. And then its coma. I wish I would have got to see it in the sky, but I'll live. Comets are weird. What if comets are alive? What if everything is alive? All right, whatever. Ooh. Look at Comet Neo Wise's very special structure. I could feel someone out there was like, Hey, Thor, show me some cool iridescent clouds. And well, here you go. Check out that strafing. Yep. I like the blue filter. Oh, well, blue's my favorite color. And so, oh no, the dreaded wheel. It drags down my production value. If you could go a little faster wheel, I would appreciate it. Oh, well, it gives us a better chance to look at this slowly. Look at that. Yeah, it's going to be a pretty big sunspot. 
So we're going to have two sunspots on the sun, although in December when we did have two sunspots, one was from solar cycle 24, and then the other one was the new from solar cycle 25, and that was around Christmas. And so these, this is when we'll have two ones from solar cycle 25, which I think will be a first. I could be wrong, but if my memory serves me correct, and so that's exciting. And I like to get excited because we haven't had a lot to get excited about in 2020. And so this is a good sign, man. The signs in the heavens are good. And though, although everything looks crazy, wild, and looks like the civilization could spin off its axis, I am not losing hope. Hey, there's our friendly black box that we always see. Sometimes, always. You know how that works. See it? Ooh, look at that. You see that little straight line that shot straight up? I don't know, I, I like the black boxes. Because I'm like, what are they hiding? What cool stuff is under the, that they don't want us to see? There it was. Yeah, look at that. That's impressive. Reddish pink, noctilucent clouds. That's not something you see every day. Comet Neo Eyes was like, always changing pretty colors. Went from like orange to green to blue. Beautiful. But you know what always seems to take the cake for beautiful colors? Auroras. Definitely auroras. When I see the colors in the sky, it reminds me that God is great. Will this be the most impressive comet we see in 2020? Maybe. Nostradamus said it would be. But the big comet to watch is Comet K2, which will be coming in like 2023. I'll be making videos about that in the future. It is definitely an interesting time to be alive. I'm glad you're here with me. In my opinion... And this is just a theory, but the sooner and the faster the sun wakes up, uh, the sooner and faster that the plague will just go away. And so whether that happens 2021, 2022, 2023, I don't know. But please remember that better days are ahead of us and that we will make it through all this crap together. Now we are in the grand transition, man. We... Got all the planets on the same side of the sun. That is such a big deal. It, like, this is not just an election year. This is not just an American story. This is not just an Earth story. This is like a whole planet solar system story with the definite lead up of Jupiter and Saturn in conjunction on December 21st, 2020. So we're only like five months away from that and that is exciting there's a lot of exciting stuff happening so it's okay to start getting a little bit hopeful and a little bit optimistic though i would guess now between now and the election is going to be wild and crazy and we might see some major scary events you know it's 2020 be ready for anything and with so much imbalance in our solar system definitely be ready for earthquakes and volcanoes and with the so activity increasing, that'll increase the volcanoes and earthquakes as well. So, everybody stay cool, and I'll do what I can to bring you good information and smiles when I can. All right, God bless everyone. May the force be with you always. Let's live long and prosper together. And it's party dance time, people.